animals have strange names, and sometimes you wonder, who came up with this? Well, let's talk about it. Here are 20 cool animal name origins. Number one, worms. In Old English, worm means serpent, snake, dragon, or reptile. Oh yeah, worms be fierce. Too bad their name is way scarier than they could ever be. Earwigs. This one also comes from Old English. Era, meaning ear, and wicca, meaning insect. It comes from the fable that earwigs crawl into people's brains and lay eggs. That's just, ugh. Chinchilla is Spanish for little bug. Aardvark comes from an Afrikaans word meaning earth pig because of burrows. This means its name is a synonym for a completely different animal, the groundhog. Hippos. Hippopotamus comes from Greek. Hippos, horse, and potamus, river. So it's a horse of the river. Narwhals. They never get enough love. I mean, look at them. They're the unicorns of the sea. Its name is Old Norse. It means corpse whale because its gray color looks like a dead body, and it has a habit of lying very still at the surface of the water. Squid. No one knows for sure, but it might be a variation of the word squirt, as in, you know, it, it, it squirts ink and stuff. Caterpillar means hairy cat. Yeah, I, I, I see it. Tyrannosaurus. It's ancient Greek. Tyrannus, tyrant, saurus, lizard, and if you add the rex, which is Latin, then king. So a Tyrannosaurus Rex is a Tyrant Lizard King. That actually sounds pretty awesome. Walrus. W walruses? Walrus? Whatever. Their name comes from Old Norse for horse whale. Or they may come from the Dutch word walrus, meaning whale. I prefer the former. It's more fun. Unicorns. Now don't tell me unicorns aren't real. They're as real or unreal as the rest of us. Anyway, their name comes from uni, meaning one, and cornus, meaning horn. Such as, you know, cornucopia, meaning literally horn of plenty. So unicorn, you know, literally one horn. I always wondered why they weren't just named unihorns, but I guess unicorn sounds cooler. Sperm whale. Couldn't leave this one out, could I? It's named for the white liquid found inside its head. It is said to smell of fresh milk. Yum. The liquid is spermaceti, meaning whale seed. It takes up the majority of the whale's weight and helps the animal's buoyancy and echolocation. Early sailors thought it was a whale's, well... You know. Raccoon. Raccoon comes from the Algonquin word auracunum, meaning one who rubs, scrubs, and scratches with its hands because they do so many things with their cute little hands. This was put into English language by John Smith as he wandered around Virginia. One good thing about John Smith is when he wanted to know what something was called, he would point at it and say, What's that? And the locals would say, Oh, it's a raccoon. Thanks to Smithy, we have a lot of native terms for places and things. Other examples are moccasins and canoes. John Smith was all right. Cheetah! We all like to think that cheetah comes from being fast or agile, but alas, it comes from a Sanskrit word meaning variegated, meaning it has different colored areas on its body. Really? That's it? I would have called it the fast predator kitty, but that's why they don't let me name things. Gorilla comes from the Greek word gorilla, meaning a tribe of hairy women. I'm not really sure why, but that's flattering. Grasshopper. You'd think that it would come from its ability to hop through grass, but no, that's, that's, that's it. That's actually why. Dolphin comes from the Greek word delphus, which means womb, so it's basically a fish with a womb. Let's stay in the water with sharks. The word shark has many possible origins. One is it comes from the German word shork, meaning a scoundrel or a villain. It was originally used in the sense of lone shark or card shark, and then became the name of the dangerous animal. Skunk comes from a New England Algonquin language. The words seca, qua, seca meaning to urinate, and qua, fox, so it's a urinating fox. You know, because it preys on things. Number 20, turkey. This one's tricky. There are two accepted theories as to why the birds are named after a country, and yes, it is not just a coincidence, they really are named for the country of Turkey. Alright, first theory. When Europeans came to America, they misidentified the bird as a type of guinea fowl, which can be found in Turkey, though there are actually more types of guinea fowl found in Africa, so I don't know what their problem was. Anyway. They called them turkey fowls, and that name was eventually shortened to turkey. The second theory states that they were first seen and eaten by Europeans in Mexico in the Cortez expedition of 1519. They were then taken to Europe and domesticated for food in the eastern Mediterranean. Merchants from the Ottoman Empire, and Turkey was a part of the Ottoman Empire, brought the food to England. The English thought the bird was from Turkey, and so they named them turkey birds. The name spread quickly, and the bird will forever be known as turkey instead of maybe American or something else. 